What up, everybody? It's your boy, Young Fizz, aka Mr. Dope Status on Instagram, and welcome back to another video. So today, we're taking a look at the Orion Studio control panel, and particularly, we're going to be looking at the routing. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So as you can see here, I have the Orion Studio on the screen, and I just want to basically discuss the routing with you guys here. As you can see here, we have the 12 mic pre's, right? So we have four on the front, and then the rest on the back. Five through 12 is gonna be on the rear of the control here of my interface. The preamp that you see here, one through 12, that's gonna be the physical inputs. And that's important to understand. And the physical input is anything that you can physically plug into the interface. So it could be maybe this microphone here, right? So anything physically you can plug into one of the inputs on the actual interface. So it's a physical input. The next thing here we have is the EMU mic, which stands for emulation mic, and that is 5 through 12. 5 through 12, again, is an emulation mic, and that could be accessed from the control panel as well. So let's just say if I want to use number uh, 12 here, so I'm going to turn off my link control. I'm going to set this to mic, and I can click right here, and then I have my emulation controls that I can access. I can turn on phantom power and then select the different modeling mics that's available. So I'm going to go ahead and set that back. So that's the emulation mic. The next thing is the Thunderbolt playback. Basically, what is Thunderbolt playback? Well, if we click this button here, it tells us. So it means DAW out. So what does that mean in plain English? That means anything coming out of your actual interface. So anything coming out from 1 through 32, right? So that's your Thunderbolt playback. You have Thunderbolt, and then you have the USB playback. So it's the same thing as Thunderbolt, but instead of using Thunderbolt, which is 32, you have USB, which is 24. So you have 24 channels of playback. All right, so again, it's a software output. Next, we have the ADAT in. So you have a total of 16. Um, that's pretty self explanatory. Um, SPDIF in, same thing. So SPDIF in is a digital input. ADAT is a digital input. So you have two channels of SPDIF, left and the right, one and two. The next thing you have here is AFX out. So you have 16 AFX out. So what is the AFX out? Again, it's software output. So you have anything coming out of your interface. So let's go ahead and take a look at the effects. So the effects run through any 16 of these channels right here. So you have two, four, six, eight. So basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 channels of basically output mono or eight stereo. So I'll go back to the routing here. So that's what the AFX out is. It's basically anything you can output from the actual engine of the effects here. Um, so how does this work? Let me quickly explain it to you guys. So let's just say, for example, I have my mic preamp. I wanted to basically run it through some of the effects. So what I typically do for a tutorial, I have my preamp, which is the mic here, coming out of channel one, and then I'm plugging it right into the AFX in number one. So I'm going from a physical input, I'm going into my preamp, and it's coming out of my preamp into the AFX, and then out of the AFX, I'll route it to a record channel, which would appear right here on channel number three. So that would be a typical setup of using it through AFX. And the benefit of this is to basically run it so that you could basically have uh, effects on your vocal before it even hits the tape. So it's like kind of recording, like printing the actual effect to tape. So that's what the AFX is. So the next thing you have here is your mix one through mix four. So you have four independent controls for your monitor mixes or your headphone mixes. And that corresponds to down here as well. So you have one and two again, and then left and right. All right, so the cool thing about this monitor mix down here is that you can have your soft, basically it's your software mixers. So you can have different mixes set up here. You can potentially route anything that you want from up here to your different software mixes. All right, so that's what that is. And the cool thing about using number one, it comes with this cool, uh, let me go to the screen here. It's called the Aura Verb. And so that's pretty awesome if you want to have reverb printed to the track going into tape. The next thing you have here is your actual line outputs. So what is line output? So you have 16 line outputs, and that's basically anything that's hardwired coming out of the Antelope audio interface. So let's say, for example, uh, I'm using Omnisphere, and I want to get those sounds from Omnisphere out of my interface into a summing mixer. And this is typically what I do. Um, I'll use the 16 outputs, so I'll route 3 through 18. I'll take those and route it to my summing mixer. So 3 through 18. So that's coming out 
of the actual interface right into the summing mixer. So that's a typical setup that I'll use right there. And so again, line outputs is a, a physical output and it's routed out through two DB25s of eight channels each. So you have one through eight via DB25 and then, and then nine through uh, 16, which is another DB25 for a total of 16 outputs. So again, that's a physical output. Same thing goes for your headphone uh, output. This is an output. Headphone one is output. Headphone two is an output. Your monitor, another physical output. Thunderbolt record. So what is this? If you click this asterisk right here, it tells you DAW in. So anything that you want to record to tape or to your uh, to your DAW, you want to plug it in right here. If you're using Thunderbolt, you plug it in, you get 32 channels. If you're using USB, then you get 24. So Thunderbolt, 32, USB, 24. And it has something to do with the bandwidth. The next thing you have is ADAT out. Again, that's self-explanatory. You have 16 channels of ADAT out. And then the next thing you have is SPDIF. So there's a SPDIF connector on the back of the interface. And then you have the SPDIF out. Again, two channels. And then you have the AFX in, which I kind of explained a little bit earlier. It's anything inside going to the AFX interface. So that's basically you can have a hardware output going into running it through your effects and kind of print it to tape from there. And then again, you have the line out of your software mixers. So what I typically like to do, and I don't, when I don't like to go through software, I'll have my keyboards running through here. I have a mic input in here. So I may have like a, a mic running through my effects and have it plugged in right here. And then I'll have my Mix L1, as you can see right here, is going through my monitor and then my headphones out. And so that's basically a little bit about the routing there. So it's your boy Young Fizz, aka Mr. Dope Status on Instagram. If you have any questions, be sure to drop your comment down below and I'll help you the best way I can. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video. We out.